So the new teaser trailer for the upcoming Black Widow film is out, and no doubt your YouTube feed is filled with those really annoying clickbait videos where the thumbnail is a screenshot from the trailer, and they put like a red circle around some obscure portion of the image, and maybe an arrow pointing to it, and they have a title that's something like, 25 things you missed in the new Black Widow teaser trailer. And I'm like, how do you know what I missed in the teaser trailer? I didn't miss anything, actually, Mr. Desperate for Views. Don't get me wrong, I've used arrows before too, but I have never been so presumptuous as to claim that I knew what people had missed in a trailer. <laughs> anyway, all joking aside, the trailer is out, and to be fair, it doesn't look too bad. Mind you, there's nothing here that really blows me away either. For me, the trailer didn't really leave a massive impact. It's definitely got a very Jason Bourne type feel about it. At least, that's what I got from the start of the teaser. More like an action spy thriller. I like the Bourne movies quite a lot, so that could be a really good thing about this film. This film takes place after Captain America Civil War, so it's a prequel, which is why Natasha Romanoff is obviously alive again. She's forced to confront her past, and we see several of her old acquaintances from her days as a Russian KGB spy. This character is apparently a kind of sister figure to Natasha. This is the character of Yelena Belova. She's played by Florence... Pew, I think it is. I'm not sure how you pronounce her second name. And also there's Rachel Weiss. She's playing Melina Vostikov, a.k.a. Iron Maiden. And David Harbour is playing a kind of Russian equivalent of Captain America called the Red Guardian. And he looks like a source of some levity in the film. William Hurt is back as Thaddeus Ross. We get a shot of him in the trailer. And by the looks of it, he's been digitally de-aged. So some people have suggested that this shot could be from a flashback scene in the film. There is a rumor that both Hawkeye and Tony Stark will appear in this film. But neither of those characters are seen in the teaser. So for now, it's just a rumor. Now, much of the trailer gave me a kind of Captain America Winter Soldier type feel. A bit more gritty, more real and grounded than some of the more spectacular installments in the MCU franchise. And also, I got the impression from this teaser that the film might have a more serious tone, which I think would be a great direction to go in, especially given the nature of Black Widow's dark past. Winter Soldier was very much a modern spy thriller, and I really liked that about the film, so this teaser reminded me of that a little bit. Until, of course, the end of the teaser, where we see the characters jumping off something that appears to be falling out of the sky, and they're basically skydiving through debris. And at that point, it's a bit more fantastical and over the top. It's hard to draw too many conclusions from this short teaser for Black Widow. It looks like a film that has a lot of potential. I'm not really a fan of prequels, and I think this one is tinged with a certain degree of sadness because we know the ultimate fate of Natasha Romanoff. Of course, we know she dies in Endgame, though I'm wondering if the powers that be will find some means of resurrecting her for the future of the franchise. We shall see. Regardless, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.